United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification opened its 21st session, Creek 21, in Samarkand, Uzbekistan. Delegates from 196 countries gathered at Creek 21 to address key challenges regarding land degradation and droughts. High-level government officials emphasized the importance of regional cooperation in addressing emerging environmental challenges, such as dust storms, that are becoming more and more prevalent in the Central Asian region. Just a few months ago, I was on a trip to Kazakhstan, a neighboring country, witnessing a dust storm. Upon my return to Uzbekistan, this dust storm was already in Tashkent, spreading over the other neighboring countries. This shows that Central East Asia is one ecosystem and only by uniting our efforts and collectively addressing environmental challenges, we will be able to achieve some tangible results. One of the primary results of the Uzbek government's efforts to tackle land degradation is Yashil Makon, Green Oasis project, which aims to plant 200 million trees and shrubs annually. Currently, I am at the tree planting ceremony. Continuing the Yashilmakon tradition, 1,000 tree saplings were planted by delegations in the Green Park Zone near Samarkand. Rangelands make up a large portion of the territory in Central Asia. Addressing land degradation on such an area required different solutions. Most of the time in the news you hear about forests and their contribution to mitigating climate change. But the reality is that grasslands also have a major contribution to mitigating climate change. And this region has a lot of grasslands, a lot of pastoralism. So that's a, an option. There's a, a tool that is being used to both address land degradation and contribute to mitigating climate change, which is called carbon farming. But what's innovative in this region is it's much more than crop ag agriculture. It includes all the rangelands. And the idea is that if we can, where those rangelands are degraded, if we can restore them, then we can have more carbon in the soil and in the grasses, and therefore not in the atmosphere. And yet we can still use those grasslands for our livestock. And I think this region is is leading that effort to try and figure that out and maximize that solution. We call that a multiple benefit solution. It helps people and their livelihoods. It helps address climate change. It can contribute to biodiversity, conservation, and most importantly for our convention, it can make sure there's healthy land for all. As a side event for Creek 21, we were invited to attend several farms that implement successful land management projects. The farmers are incorporating new approaches to rehabilitate soil fertility and combat water loss. The use of drip irrigation systems is one way to prevent inefficient usage of water. Additionally, farmers are implementing a cyclic planting approach, alternating the cultivation of different vegetables and grains to enrich the soil with diverse minerals and nutrients. They also emphasize the importance of regulating cattle grazing through a seasonal rotation method. Creek 21 in Samarkand served as a crucial review session to assess the global status of land management in anticipation of the upcoming COP16 of the United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification, which will take place in Saudi Arabia next year.